Hello, boys and girls. It's time for another children's chat with me, Pastor Andy. And today I want to talk to you about two things. One, I'm going to tell you a story about a person named Thomas. And I'm going to talk to you about trust. Do you know what trust is? Well, trust is when I tell you something and you believe what I tell you. Or when you tell me something and I believe what you tell me. So maybe if you're at home with your parents and your mom or your dad says to you, well, as soon as you are done with your homework, then we can play a video game. If you believe what your mom or dad says, well, then you trust what they say. And so when you're done with your homework, you know that when you're done, you get to go play the video game. That's what trust is. It's believing what someone says. All right, but let's talk about the story now. So last week we heard about Jesus. He had died, but he had risen from the dead on Easter Sunday. And after Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to lots of different people. One of the times that he appears is on the evening of Easter Sunday. Ten of his friends, ten of his disciples were gathered together in one room, all together. And all of the doors were locked. And yet Jesus somehow magically, mysteriously appears in the room. He's there. He's very present there. He speaks to his disciples. He talks with them. Maybe he shakes their hands or gives them a hug. But the first thing that he says to them is, peace be with you. I don't know about you, but if I were in a locked room and someone suddenly appeared, I'd be pretty afraid. I think the disciples were afraid too. But Jesus says, peace be with you. It's okay. It's me. It's Jesus. And Jesus, of course, can do all sorts of interesting things that we can't do. So Jesus had appeared to his 10 friends on Easter evening, but there was someone missing. One person was missing, this guy named Thomas. And Jesus' other friends told him that, told Thomas that Jesus was risen from the dead, but Thomas shook his head and said, oh, I can't believe it. I just don't believe it. How could it be? I saw him dead. How could he be alive again? It doesn't make any sense. And so Thomas refused to believe. He refused to trust what they said. But eight days later, Jesus' ten friends and now Thomas with them were gathered together in the same room all together. The doors were locked again. And again, Jesus appears and he speaks to Thomas. And he says to Thomas, here I am. You can see me. You can touch me. You can shake my hand. You can give me a hug. I'm really here. I'm really alive again. Stop not trusting and trust me. Trust what people say about me. Trust what I said about me. Because remember, Jesus said that this would happen. So Jesus tells Thomas to trust his word. And Thomas confesses. Thomas says this amazing thing as he sees Jesus and he says, my Lord and my God. So Thomas again starts trusting Jesus once again. So in our relationship with Jesus, we should trust the words that he says to us. And you know what Jesus says to us? He says some very important things, but he says to us that he loves us that we are his beloved children, and he's going to be with us always. So remember, we can trust Jesus. We can trust the things that he says, and we believe in him. All right, thanks for joining me today. Why don't we say a prayer to Jesus? You can fold your hands and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to earth. Thank you for dying and rising for me. Help me trust you. Amen. All right. Thanks, boys and girls. We'll see you next time for Children's Chat. Take care.